What is up, Virgos? Happy birthday season. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves as you should be. So do me a favor, trust your intuition, trust yourself. You have arrived at this video for a reason. There is a moon message in here for you for the first quarter moon in Sagittarius. So let's dive in. Let's see who's popping up in your love energy. The first quarter moons come in between a new moon and a full moon. And Sag energy is the archer, the eternal optimist. So this is really about manifesting your every desire. We're revving up towards a full moon. So this is really when we're talking about love, who's trying to manifest you, who's coming in. Let's dive in, Virgo. Who is popping up? I'm hearing take the first one in your love energy. All you guys got the same one as Cancer, a journey. So someone's journeying in. They could be coming in from far away. Um, you guys could live far apart from each other. But this is definitely the energy of someone like making their way to you. So regardless, someone's coming in. Give me more for Virgo. What do they need to see about this journey? This could also, you know, be related to travel in some way. If you guys are planning a trip or on going, going anywhere, it's possible you and this person could be going on a trip. Give me more for Virgo. What does Virgo need to see about who's coming into their love energy? They're telling me to flip the deck over. Tell me more about Virgo who's popping into their love energy. Three of Swords in reverse. Ooh, Three of Swords is a heartbreak energy, heart-wrenching energy, Libra energy. So I like to see that in reverse. This could have been an X in some way, like after a breakup. Give me more for Virgo. What does Virgo need to see? First quarter moon in Sag energy for Virgo. This way. Eight of Swords in reverse. Breaking free. This is like breaking free of a heartache. This is like the aftermath of a breakup is what I'm getting. Ace of Cups in reverse. But someone is not able to find joy or renewal. Man. Okay. So whoever this is is journeying to you. Um, but I feel like this is a breakup. Like the post aftermath of a breakup, Virgo. Because Three of Swords is heartbroken energy. But in reverse, it's like trying to free yourself out of that. The Eight of Swords is also a freeing yourself energy when it's in reverse. And then the Ace, Ace of Cups is like not being able to have a renewal or a commitment with someone or it, it's almost like love sucks energy. I'm going to get a little bit more on this because while it seems like someone's coming in, I'm wondering if this is someone that's dealt with this energy before or this is someone that, you know, you've dealt with this energy with so we have staff direction i'm getting a lot about movement with a journey then we have direction and it's like freeing yourself energy with a three of swords eight of swords it's like someone trying to find their direction virgo trying to find their footing their placing their positioning dog loyalty so loyalty is about commitment and i feel like they weren't able to get that with the ace of cups in reverse I'm still trying to figure out if this is someone that you know. I almost feel like maybe someone wasn't loyal to you. It's possible, Virgo. That this person was not loyal to you. And I feel like it's possible, yeah, their directions. It's like their inner compass is leading their direction back to you. And I feel like you might give them the cold shoulder. Give me more for Virgo. For the first quarter moon in Sag, what does Virgo need to see? Take the first one and that one, dream come true. I feel like this this is what you are for this person, Virgo. Ego, yeah, I feel like this person's an ego ma maniac. I feel like I knew there was something in here about the energy being off with the Ace of Cups in reverse and all this kind of treacherous energy. It's like they're trying to relieve themselves of it. Give me one more, one more for Virgo, wild card. Yeah, I get that this person's kind of all over the place. It's like they have their good days and bad days and it's just kind of like, it really is all over the place energy, Virgo. Even the shooting stars kind of coming out of nowhere. I feel like this person's 
it's like a, they're a roamer. They're just out here trying to find a sense of direction, journeying to you. I almost feel like this is someone that's coming to you, but they don't really know what they're coming for. I feel like it's like they're a lost little puppy. Give me more on this energy through the charms for Virgo. What does Virgo need to see about this person? I knew this was going to come out. Not all those who wander are lost. So it's funny because I almost said that like they're just wandering, not knowing where they're going. But it's possible this person's like maybe their human selves just kind of going through the motions every single day, you know, going to work, doing whatever. But their their higher self, their soul is guiding them to you. Because I feel like there's work that has to be finished or done. The I get a busy bee energy with that, especially on top of ego. Maybe they owe you an apology. The Ace of Cups in reverse, maybe that's what it is. It's like their ego wouldn't allow them to apologize. Yeah, because I, I, you're a, a queen or a king, Virgo. And I feel like this person needs to treat you like it. And I don't know if they did before. There was definitely some sort of really rough, dramatic energy in here. But I feel like this person's, and even though they don't really know that they're coming to you, this is really all over the place. And they're, they're kind of all over the place. I feel like there's going to be some sense of like, oh, okay, this is why you came back into my life. Or like, this is why we're having this reunion. Or I bumped into you at this random place. Like, it's going to bring about a lot more clarity is what I'm getting. So we have the sun, of course, in fucking Virgo. Oh my God, Virgo, your energy is all over this. So you could have been dealing with another Virgo. Eight of Swords is Gemini, Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and then Three of Swords is Libra energy. So I'm getting, you know, and Virgos also, you guys are very practical, strategic. So I feel like this person's, it's almost like they're strategically coming to you, but I feel like it's their higher self. 11th house, ruled by Aquarius sudden big changes. It's like suddenly you bump into this person. This is also associated with um, the internet. So it could be like they reach out to you through social media maybe. But I feel like they're kind of like, it's like they're setting up a strategy to get their shit together, but it leads to you, Virgo. This is really interesting energy. Someone's definitely journeying to you though, wandering to you, finding their direction to you. They're all over the place, but it's leading to you. So I hope this resonated for, oh, you know what? This one came out. There's one that came out. I just want to look at it. Discipline. Yeah, I feel like they're trying to put their like foot, like pedal to the metal with something and it all comes back to you. Very interesting. Possibly apology energy. So I hope this resonated Virgo. I will catch you during the waxing Yippus reading.